I feel like doing a quickish teardown. So, we have a regular ATA DVD drive, a very boring standard one that came with some PC years back before SATA was a major thing, and I have a small stack of these, so it doesn't matter at all. So we start our teardown by taking off the front panel. I already took care of that. Flip it over, remove all the screws. I already did that. This panel comes off. And now you're inside. So, as we can see, this chip gets a little hot and so do this one. And I think these are probably some of the motor drivers or something similar, maybe voltage regulators. But they all have the little pads on them to be heat sunk to the top here. And they all have little lowered spots that they want the parts to touch on. So that's kind of how they did that. Uh, so the next step, let's take out this top board. So we need to undo this clasp. And this one. All right, and with a real jeweler's thing here, go ahead and lift off this one and finally this one all right i don't know if let's see how uh, this clips on the side here lift out the first one second one comes out of the post and i didn't see that flex over here earlier or realized that it would come out and undo it and here we go so we'll look at this board first here all right, so it's a board, and the back has nothing but some caps. Kind of nifty, the, uh, the whole I.O. is just one molded connector. So just purpose built for these disc applications and nothing else, which makes sense. Why would you want to sp spend for this connector, that, the whole, this whole one, as well as the Molex on it. We can just build the whole thing all in one. So yeah, not a very exciting board. Unless the motor drivers are directly on the other boards, it's probably this chip, and I will take a look at them. So here's the internals. It's the whole optical assembly. The actual gear shaft to move it, a little bar to support it. Well, it's here, so there's the two bars to hold the optical assembly in. This trains it along. There's the motor for spinning the disk drive. Here's, I think, the uh, opening motor, maybe, or something similar like that. Uh, and then the rest of it's just plastic. I mean, it's a lot of, a lot of dead space, which is <laughs> probably why they can make slim lines so easily. So let's take this board out. Oh no, I'm stuck on the motor. Oh, it's a belt. There's a belt in here. Come off. There we go. All right, any drivers in here? Nope. In fact, it's a single-sided board. So there is a nice springy. Yeah, it's through hole. I'll have to measure it in a second. Nice springy pot here kind of nice. You could use a very tiny, or you'd put a little assembly over it, very tiny uh, pitch shifter wheel for a MIDI project. That will be fun. Uh, motor, nothing exciting. Right angle mount button. Small lead. EMP. Okay, assembly portion here. Take out those screws and see where that gets us. I have a sinking suspicion that taking this off will just make the motor fall in and do nothing. Oh, this is very well shock mounted. Uh... Look at the lack of progress. Very nice shock mount. So that means this is floating and can come out somehow. Uh, uh... Okay. I got the tray out. 
Oops. Oh, that's cool. That's a lot of fun. Can I do anything with the tray out? I think we can actually release the... Yeah, let's try that. I see the problem and what I have done. Off camera time. Ta-da! Metal. Ooh. So the tray goes in. And via a process I have broken, the little assembly pops into there. And you're good to go. I can lift out. And the tray moves out. And it's free! Tiny amount of grease. So here's our motor for the disc. And here's our very fancy precision laser assembly, yada blah. Good shock mount, very nice assembly here. Let's see. You mounted through, so take out these four screws and this part will come out. Some pretty heavy plastic. What I was gonna say in the top here is that there's this nice little floating bit to uh, provide counter or whatever that would be. It's nice. Okay, well, this assembly weighs as much as you would expect it to. Uh, let's take a close look, see if there's anything exciting looking. Welcome to the world. I can point now. All right, so there's the flex down to the little board that comes from the laser. I know these tend to have the ability to, yeah, there we go. Usually, as far as I'm aware, it can control this fine amount of movement very accurately too. I think there's some side to side to it, but definitely the up and down. Um, I think sometimes there's a way to hear it actually clicking up and down. That's a problem or something. Um, well, yeah, fun. It looks like SAC 7009L. I'll read that and post if I can. Here's the ma the main NEC processor, 2005. And then down here is our motor driver with a nice heat sink on top here. Well, there's like a metal plate in there and then plastic over it, but heat sink, then that had the little pad on it that went right to the surface, which is great. And it seems to go over to probably this connector here the most. So yeah, SPWM. And that's about it. There's that little chip. Got our little test point here little group of stuff. Maybe I'll find something terrible to do with the laser as well as the motors, but for now I got nothing. So that's a quick teardown of a semi-old but obsolete DVD drive.